to Blue Sky Citadel. So yeah, it started in 2009 and then later got extended to the community. And after that, we founded Blue Sky as a non-profit uh, educational institution in the UK. So yeah, this is the, our objective to empower everyone so that we come in contact with. And yeah, we do that by providing placement and mentorship. Yeah for career and as well as business. Uh, I like this particular uh, slogan, which might be our uh, slogan later, actually. So yeah, so yeah, if you can believe it, yeah, and you can work it, then you can reach it. Where are you reaching? You can reach the blue sky. So basically that's what it means, yeah. So believe it, work it, reach it. So our aim is to prepare you to go beyond the blue sky. And you know, there's other that say the sky is the limit. We believe that the sky is no longer the limit. You can fly above the blue sky. So the teams, we have a very long list of team members as to be honest, experienced people actually in their career. Uh, yeah, so this is myself. Uh, I've got over 20 years experience in IT. And I've worked in different places, you know, blue chip, I would say, uh, different banks in the UK. And I started a career as a developer, computer science graduate. And then I have actually done everything in IT, be it uh, software testing, Scrum Master, and architects, in yeah, whatever you, you call it, actually. So maybe that it's why I'm able to do this. So yeah, and also also founded some other companies with Pat. Uh, uh, yeah, so Pat is the head and all of the of the bodies and the mentors, and yeah, also uh, in IT as well over uh, I think more than twelve years now actually. So graduate of computer science from UI, and she's actually a coach. Uh, I would say transformational coach yeah, in itself. So, and yeah, so it's, she's also passionate about helping people and listening to them, channel the career and also being able to support them in their ways. So as if she's one person that you want to speak to if you don't have any clue as a student on where you want to go, and I myself, I started as a student in the UK. I know there will be time that you don't even know where to channel your path, whether to go right or left. Yeah, you are still looking for visa. You are still looking, oh, what course I need to go to. I would say speak to Pat, actually. She'll be able to channel, speak to you, know your interests, and yeah, and coach you in the way to go. So, and... We also have we have some advisors. One of them is Pastor Tutu Shofora, and she's a pastor. And yeah, if you need any um, pastoral guidance or advice, I think this is one person to go to. And you want to also uh, relay your information, ask, um, seek their advice in time of. On spiritual ways as well or so pastoral care and i think you can speak to her so if you google her name and if you want to yeah also maybe google for the name of the parish you can speak to her and yeah and also we have another advisor alex barbosa uh, alex barbosa has got over 20 years experience even in different fields in the it uh, presently is an s ESG uh, technologist as a uh, program manager and a product manager, actually. So looking at different uh, markets in, in the UK to see how they can actually cut down their, uh, uh, what's it, climate, yeah, uh, emission, actually, yeah, in, in, in their company. So, and, and he has worked for different companies as well. We also have uh, Councillor Geraldine Lucia Ennis, so who is a councillor 
uh, in Bestleaf uh, slash Crawford. And she was also once a mayor of this particular um, council. And she's involved in a lot of things. Some of them are kind of listed in there. Oh, she's part to be part of Blue Sky as well. So we, I'm going to go through some of the mentors, tutors, and yeah. So the first person I'm going to speak about is Temi. Temi works for the leading consultancy company in the UK and uh, the likes, uh, she, uh, he has worked for the likes of IBM, Capgemini, and, Cap and also some certifications you can see there. And also Tolu is an experienced and certified agile consultant. Uh, to be honest, you know, she has done a lot, call it a BA, a Scrum Master, product owner. Yeah. So she, and very experienced as a as a mentor and also as a coach. She's one someone that you need to speak to. And I've got my about me, actually. So yeah, and also program manager. And yeah, and also a build background from Kiwi as well. So she's also a mentor. So the next person is Olaumi, uh, is uh, is also the program manager here and a career in management now is Scrum Master and certified agile program manager as well. So and another program manager and as well as product owner, so is Bolu. So and as yeah, as you know, uh, like we have seasoned people. She's also a certified um, pro, um, product owner and data analyst as well. So and yeah, presently working as a BA and also assisting as administrator and program manager for Blue Sky. So we also have uh, Yemi. Yemi has got lots of experience in automation as well in manual testing and she's very very thorough in terms of how to go through uh or testing uh, if you are if you are new to testing you don't know anything this is one person to to to, to speak to she's going to take you like a like a baby so that you can understand what it entails and also we have um, abby Abby has got a lot of experience, actually. I think I, I need to update this. It's over maybe 15 years now as a, as a BA in different fields, I would say, in the UK. And she also came from computing background with a lot of uh, certification um, uh, on her bed. And also we have Moji. Moji also... Uh, is a certified scrum master or as well and yeah it's to be honest and one thing that i know about moji very passionate patient to explain things so you're going to hear from her when the internship starts she's kind of thorough as well so in, in she's going to bring her uh, experience to bear when it comes to uh, practical sessions i think yeah so and also we have uh, uh, Kwame Anim. Kwame Anim is very, very good in automation. If I say very good, I think you 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 agree with me. Is a guru in test automation. You want to yeah, you want to be in in a in his class to be honest to be able to and see how is is able to explain things that seems to be seemingly difficult in a simple way as a breeding block. That's why this particular um, program is very uh, um, popular because you are able to explain things that people think are difficult in a simple way, actually, so that people can understand. I also got to the Shofora. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for this cohort, I don't know where I'm going to do Oracle ACM, but I will let you know later. But if we are going to do it, uh, yeah, it's going to be teaching that it's my pastor, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. So he's, he's got experience in Oracle Human Capital Management and Oracle Financial Suite, which is popular um, ERP application in the UK. So hopefully we're able to, to, to do this, this in this time. So I also got OE, OE 
Oh, yeah, it's a success story. Uh, I would say, no, I don't want to say this, actually. So she was also a student, like most of you were, and she joined the program, and then she finished. She got a very good role as a, as a senior tester, actually, where she worked. So, and yeah, and also, it's, you know, the company actually sponsored a visa as well. So, and she started very early when she kind of, uh join the bsc she started first the first year she was in it anyway so and she's also uh, she got first class from from the school so and now she's she's with us for a few years now the same thing applies to ikea as well ikea is a developer and as well as a only she's going to be leading the pro, um, java programming language and why she only is doing the C sharp, so we're going to be doing C sharp this time anyway. So I also have uh, your major B. Uh, your major B is going to go through the data analysis analysis for us actually. So yeah, and Ayo Pungi is another person that you want to meet. To be honest, you really want to meet this particular person if you are looking to pro project management and as well as maybe agile project management. He is he's got a lot of experience. Hopefully, we'll be able to do this course in this particular time. So it's yeah, you need to you need to speak to him if you are a project manager or you want to become one. Actually, I think he, the one thing that I know about Ayo is 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 how passionate he is. To be honest, and so down to anything. To be honest, so once he said, "I'm going to do this," and he will give you all the time to be able to do that. So, and also we have Funke Ogunjabi, another Scrum Master, uh, presently with Lloyd's Banking Group. And yeah, she, she's really, really uh, experienced in, in, uh, in our fields as well. So one of the leading Scrum Master that you can, you can work with. And the same thing applies to Ayo uh, Femi Adedoni as well, Agile Project manage, Manager. Uh, with experience, whether in save, agile, or waterfall, even with hybrid, where you have to combine agile and waterfall together, and even uh, he's got a lot of experience as well as certification in in this particular field. So, and also we have Ken the uh, uh, Akiriwa, uh, who is a developer. Uh, so, and yeah, we're going to. Hopefully we're able to get him for this particular session to, to do some courses in web development. And we also have Bimbola Bashorun who, who will be leading the, uh, yeah, she's gonna be leading the uh, development team. And also she, she actually got experience as a Kiwi as well. To be honest, as you can see, she's got a lot in there in terms of experience in Java, C Sharp, uh, Selenium Web Driver, Cross Browser, Gekin, Mana Testing and Automation, whatever you got. Yeah, so and um, she's passionate. I think the last time she took the automation was like, wow, this this person is really, really brilliant. And also I've got okay, okay, follow me, uh another DA mentor, actually. So uh, presently working as a consultant with BGSS, and she's also a digital transformation um, BA as well. So, and on this program, you might see her as a one of your uh, product owners. So, who is going to be giving you the, your stories or as, um, giving you the project mandate along the line? So, yeah. So, and then we have Kemi. Kemi will be doing the Excel. And uh, Kemi is a, is a chartered accountant, yeah, in the UK. To be honest, uh, you need to sit in Kemi's Excel lesson, actually. When, whether the course you, whether you're a Scrum Master, BA or DA or even BA, uh, it's going to be a life skill that you need to, you need to attain, to be honest. So, and also we have Tina. Tina is one of the, project manager mentors that we have yeah so with experience from pmo even to project manager and as well some of scrum experience that she's got as well 
So we have ADPC. ADPC has got a lot of experience as a developer, as a admin, and as well as a QA, QA as well. So and it's good to have someone like her to actually share uh, experience in different fields. And the list actually goes on, to be honest. So there are a lot of people that uh, are here as well. So, uh, okay. All right, so let's go to the program quickly. So you know, the main program that we have are uh, the software testing, BA and um, BA, which is also business analysis, uh, Scrum Master and data analysis. So, and we have a specialized program actually. So, which is Microsoft Dynamics. So this is coming new. And also in, in this particular specialized program is also for API testers and also for Power App, Easy Pro. And I think I just spoke to someone as well in India. You, know, you might also have performer testing in this particular program, actually. I would say this program will be for people that have got a bit of experience in their fields, like you are a BA, you are a Scrum Master, and you want to be able to manage a team like this, they are going to be an uh, experienced team, actually. So, and it's not going to be kind of like we do the internship, right? You might have a tutor-led program, but because we know that you are not here to learn uh, how Agile works, actually, but this is going to be a power-packed one where you're going to be very, very hands on, on on your work, actually. So that's one thing that's so uh, important for this particular program. So there are other programs that is basically addendum on onto each one so that everyone will be able to attend. So yeah, so there will be some session of uh, Microsoft Access, some session of Java and C Sharp, or I think because this time around is C Sharp, so we focus on C Sharp. There will be sessions of performance testing and also Azure DevOps. You would know Azure DevOps a lot, actually. So, and web development for those people that are going to be interested and data-based management for those guys interested. And I think there's another one I actually left. I think they're also going to be Jira as well in that section. So, and within the program, you have CV reviews, interview prep, mentoring, and you would be exposed to live projects as well. So quickly going through some recommendations and success stories. So, and this is what some people have said about us in, in the few years that we've been doing this. Actually, one thing that I want to point out is when the person said the program is intensive, it's really, really intensive to be honest. So, and it's because that we thought that you get value for your time actually. So, and it's really, really, very intense actually. So, and some of the feedback that we actually got at the end of the program was, yeah, people like it because it's really, really intense actually. So, which I think is, 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 is good, yeah. So those are different test messages, yeah, or Telegram conversation that we got after some of the interns actually got some roles anyway. And as you know, we can see, when they are saying thank you to different people as well. So, yeah. So, and yeah. So, and one thing that I also need just to say is like, you don't need to have experience in IT for you to be able to do this course. So one, you, one thing that I need, you need to have the belief that you can do it and you need to also put in the time. That's where you need to be committed actually. That commitment is very, very important for, yeah. So once you have that, yeah who you will see result uh, uh, at the end of the, of the course. Yeah. So there are a lot of te um, testimonies in there anyway. So I'm going to skip that for, for a sec, then because of the time. So the structure of the work placement, one, there'll be online training. So, and most of the online trainings are in the evening, actually. So unless the one that we do on Saturday, which is sometimes practical, uh, online workshop that might be a whole day actually so but we'll let you know when that will happen so then uh, before the online program there's going to be some free training that you will do i'm going to show you those free training so where you would be able to yeah learn about the course for some of you that don't even know what the courses are 
what it entails. Yeah. So that there'll be some free training that open your eyes to those courses anyway. So yeah. So and after that, yeah, when you entered into an internship, the course, the online trainings are recorded actually, so you can go back to watch it yeah, at any time as possible. So then, yeah, so in during the internship, and also we will guide you on how to get certification. So we we'll let you know. We do advise you. You do you get certified, and yeah, there are also going to be online workshop or it might also be physical anyway so there will be graduation actually so and yeah there's graduation on the 17th of this of this month actually and i've been told that we only have like 15 spaces actually so um, for those guys that are new because this is graduation is for the people so the graduating i think we already have like a 60 people uh interested in coming so we we are planning to get 80 people so we got 20 uh slots actually for anyone that wants to to join so if you are interested please do let the admin know so admin will be some of the guys that are replying your messages on telegram you can let them know that i want to join i want to attend the graduation is a good way to hear from people that are finishing so that you can actually hear from them so that it's not they just saying this thing so you can actually hear from them and ask questions how was it what do i need to do to be successful what mistake did you make on the program <laughs> what do you think i should do before i joined next year so i think it's going to be another avenue for you to uh, also network with these people as well some of them are working already and you're also going to see some mentors as well it's also a networking event as well who knows they may have some jobs and they will give you a call so yeah so this is just going through the program again so to see so ba as a ba you're going to be exposed to all these particular um requirements actually and also the tools that you're going to also have experience to work on and one thing i need to say this program is about work to be honest it's not it's not study actually because some as a student you think that yeah i'll, I'll come and study no you come here and you work actually so that's you just need to know it is not it's not book related it's going to be experience actually so you would be working using this particular or these two so as a scrum master these are the two that you work with actually and you this is whatever all this uh attribute what you are going to actually get so as a manner or automation software tester so these are the tools that you're going to be exposed to and yeah so i just i've mentioned this specialized program and so yeah and this is the details okay and okay i think i can skip this one so yeah so you We'll be giving some projects actually to work on so prep major is an online educational portal most of you uh, that you've registered will have seen prep major so also there's also long reach way which is e-commerce and also risk giving there might be another project actually so that will come on uh based on the number of people that we have so we have like seven projects so we decide on which one to add to it depending on the number of people that we have so the structure of the workplace is like in your team, you have people that work in your team. In one team, you have some BAs within the team. The BAs will be writing the requirements and developers will be developing that uh, requirement that was written by the BAs. And then after they've done that, they pass it to the QA and they will test it. They will test the application that developed. So it, this is basically, if I'm at work, this is what you would do at work as well. So this is kind of a work placement you are you will go for an interview and talk about what you do you you've done on this program because as a scrum master you will arrange or facilitate all the meetings do the ceremonies and everything as it's not simulation it has to work actually so and you will have time to be doing demos at the end of every two two weeks to the wider community within the internship so and there will be some activities for you to do actually so you there will be lots of some videos that you have to do some documentation for you have to do some onboarding have meetings 
and you need there's some tools that you might need to install there's you have to do schema trees we teach you how to create your cv how to do my mouth do interview prep and something uh, yeah there are a lot of things that you might do so for those people that are kind of motivated by money which uh, most people would do uh which are, is there's nothing wrong with that so if you are applying for scrum master or this is an example of how the salary scale, um, scale is actually so if you look here actually in this band you will see this is where most of the rows are from 30,000 to 70,000, uh, 75,000. So for Scrum Master, depending on, uh, yeah, how lucky you <laughs> you are. So uh, the same thing applies to testers as well, as you can see. So even from, yeah, 30 to 75K. And if you are per hour as well, so you can see from 50 pound per hour to, uh let's say 80 pounds per hour yeah depending on the it this also depends on the industry the ba role is also the same thing if you check the number of many jobs that you have at this particular time and this is just one website there are a lot of websites as well that you can use to do that so even during the internship we give you this list of the website actually where you can apply so okay so i think that on this you got that one actually so that's so for you to apply as a student so and so these are um, not for students so this is the student one so for students uh as at Mon monday when we are uh, i did this on monday i only open 20 spaces for students to be honest i think oh, almost i feel over 50 percent of them is already filled up so which means that unless we increase the number to be honest so uh, maybe it's, it's only 10 spaces that are left so as a student you would just go to this particular link you know blue sky .com, and you will apply so once you applied then you would make the payment then we can we ask you for proof of your uh, studentship actually yeah so okay so yeah, so that is a link and then you go in there. So, okay. So for if the full link is this one, if you want to get the full link you know, for students. Okay, I think that is it to be honest. So uh, I will open the floor. Okay, all right, so quickly. Uh, this one is for the program itself actually. So an um, introduction to, yeah, so on this, 8 of January on Sunday, we're going to have introduction to Scrum Master. If you don't know what the Scrum Master is, this is this is a session for you to come and you they will teach you what that is, what they do, and also you have opportunity to ask questions in all these particular sessions. So you're starting from Sunday 8th and you opt up to on Friday as well. Then after that, we have like a workshop and to talk about the internship and the structure. Then from there, the internship starts actually from here, to be honest. So then you have onboarding where you're going to be onboarded into your, into your team. And you have that within uh, one sprint, which we call sprint zero anyway. So from sprint zero, you'll be onboarded, you do what you need to do. And so you start sprint zero to sprint five. Then after that, you do graduation on the eight. And then that's the end of the of the program. So yeah, so that is that. Yeah. So the program was kind of inaugurated by Sir David Evnet and, and the mayor of um Bestley Council. So okay. And yeah, so that that's some pictures anyway. Any question, any question? So you can unmute uh, for the few minutes that we have, or you can type your question. So and then I can take you from here. Anyone that's got any questions? Um, hello, Mr. DJ. Good evening. Thank okay. you so much. Uh, I have a question, please, if that's okay with you. That's fine. That's okay. Thank you. Um, you mentioned that we you have limited spaces available for the student role. I'm interested in that, but um, I'm looking to go into. I don't have any IT knowledge. I don't have any IT background, so I'm 
confused actually at the moment between going for Scrum Master and Data Analysis. But I will um, I understand that you have said that there will be introduction to all these courses in January. Um, I don't know if I'm able to pay for any of the two at the moment. And after the introductory classes, um, uh, I might able to change if um, at the, after the introduction, I, I decide that this one that I'm paying for between Scrum Master and Data Analyst is not the best fit for me. And is it okay for me? Would I be able to change to the other one after the introdu introduction classes? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we'll normally, yeah, uh, you, you can change anyway because we know that this always happens. People enter blindly into the course. And then after that, their mind is open because of this session they had. So for the first one week introductory sessions, after that, they will allow them to move. Um, yeah, so that is allowed anyway, yeah. Thank you. No worries. Any other question? Good evening, sir. Good evening. My name is Naomi. Hi. Okay, sir. So, so the question I have is, um, for me, I am an international student and I'm done with my pro, like my masters, and um, actually did the Scrum Master program, and now I'm also um, enrolling for BA. So I want to ask, as someone who has been in this field and this line of profession, is it possible like I can get a job or what are the, what is it, what are the, how will I put, what's the high chance or probability that I will get a job either in Scrum Master or BA and the company will be willing to um, sponsor me? Okay, that, that's a good question. There's a probability of sponsorship, like I said, and I've trained people before, like one of my mentors, the one I mentioned, both of them are sponsored, actually. So let me, where's this guy's Oe and Ike? I think they were sponsored, actually. So don't worry. So yeah, it's possible. The only thing that you need to look into is uh, you need to look for the company that do sponsor. So that's more important. So, and there's a list that we collated, I think, yeah, which I think during the internship, we will send it out to everyone. So of those people, of those companies that do sponsor people. So that, yeah, but it's, it's possible, I would say, yeah. I'm um, sorry, sir. Also, can I chat, private chat to you so that I have a, dis a private discussion I want to talk with you? Uh, I don't know. I've got a lot of, People sending me to me, or unless unless it's really really personal. But if you think it's something that a lot of people will benefit from, then okay, maybe I'm, let me just put it out there because let me just okay. ask. Okay, sir. Okay. So the problem now is that um, I've actually been sponsored, but it's under the care sponsor, like under support for now. Okay. So, but um. And you know the visa, as long as I'm being sponsored by a support company, um, agency, is either I work voluntarily or I do 20 hours under the, um, what do they call it? Um, lower scale or I've forgotten what they call it. And uh, score mastery and business analysts, they are on that day. But honestly, I am looking for a, for a company where I can work voluntarily. Like I don't care. I don't, I don't even want them to pay me. I just want to build myself professionally and intellectually throughout the period where I will be under the support work. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I know where I, you are... I wanted it to be private. No, 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 it's fine. I, I, I know where you are getting to. Someone might have even given you some information, actually, uh, which I think you are trying to lay aside. One thing I can say, after your internship, there are some level of the program which I do um, also oversee is called advanced actually. So advanced program is there for people that want to kind of improve their 
experience as well is a workplace anyway of course they are not paid anyway so but of course even for you to gain you have to pay to enter anyway so but the good thing is like you don't pay monthly right you'll be there as soon as yeah we we still you still doing the same thing that we asked you to do so one thing is like if you enter the program and say i'm looking for work but i'm only looking for work with visa and then they will be um, the team will be coaching you to get your work actually so as long as you are still applying for roles you are still going for interviews you are still there and also been putting your effort on the on on the work they give to you 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 might be there for a long time actually while you are still kind of running um, try to run um, run your visa stuff until you get the indefinite leave to remain which i think it is okay by that time you already got the experience that you want and then you can go and apply for experience role. So that is, is possible. But the only thing is like you need to, you would need to do what we ask you to do. And yeah, so that that's that's it anyway. There's a avenue for you to be able to, to thrive and do that you know, on the program. All right, thank you so much. No worries. A lot to you, please. <clears throat> All right, good, sorry, good, of, good evening. Good evening, oh, yeah. yeah. My question is just want to ask. So if someone if someone pay now for the internship, like for the program, and at the end of the day, probably when they start the when they do the introduction to the program and all, and you realize that oh, I might not be able to cope with this or something, is that like a way, is there a refund or is just have to stick with it? Um, that's a good question. Of course, yeah. After the introduction, and you find out, oh, this is not good for me would refund your money back actually yeah so and then of course when the internship starts you may not yeah and um, you've attended the program then there will not be refund but if you at the end of the um, the introductory and you find out oh no it's not for me can i get my refund of course the admin will gladly refund your money anyway yeah okay any other question from anyone? Okay, cool. I think that's all then. Okay.